You ever have this happen to you while gaming? You're deep in a match, having a great time, and then boom, lag spike. Or worse, you get kicked off the network completely. And later you find out that someone pulled your IP and hit you with the DDoS attack. Yeah, it's a real thing, and it sucks. Maybe access a game that's available in another region, or you're hoping to find some less sweaty lobbies overseas. Either way, you're probably here because you've heard that using a VPN with your Xbox might be the answer. But then you realize that Xbox doesn't support VPN apps. So what now? In this video, I'll walk you through exactly how to use a VPN on Xbox, even though it's not built in. I'll cover the two main methods that actually work, share some real life tips, and help you figure out which approach makes the most sense for your setup. Let's get into it. Why would you even want a VPN for Xbox? Let's start with the why. Because using a VPN on Xbox isn't just for privacy nerds or hackers hiding in their basements. There are actually a bunch of legit reasons to use one especially if you play online a lot. Avoiding DDoS attacks. If you've ever had someone in a game say, I'm going to pull your IP or I'll boot you offline, they're talking about DDoS attacks. It's when someone floods your internet connection and basically knocks you offline. It's petty, it's annoying, and yes, it still happens. Using a VPN hides your real IP address, which makes it way harder for people to target you like that. Connecting to different game servers. Some people use VPNs to connect to lobbies in other countries, either to get around matchmaking issues, find easier lobbies, or even just play new games early if they drop in other regions first. There's no guarantees, but it's a trick that's been around for a while. Privacy and peace of mind. A VPN encrypts your traffic, which means that your internet service provider can't spy on what you're doing, and no one on the same network can snoop around either. That's nice to have, even if you're just casually gaming. So yeah, there are some real reasons to want to set this up. Now, here's the catch. Xbox doesn't support VPN apps. Unfortunately, you can't just go to the Microsoft Store and download a VPN like you would on your phone or your computer. Xbox has no native VPN support, which means you'll need a workaround. And the good news is, is that there are two solid methods to make this happen. One is more permanent, the other is more flexible, and I'll walk you through both. Method one, set up a VPN on your router, a more permanent setup. Let's start with the router method because this one will cover all of your devices at home including your Xbox. So how does it work? Instead of installing a VPN on your Xbox, which we know that you can't do, you install the VPN directly on your Wi-Fi router. Then anything that connects to that router is automatically using the VPN. No extra steps required. Sounds great, right? But here's what you need to know. Not all routers support VPNs. A lot of routers that come from internet providers, like those all-in-one boxes from Comcast, AT&T, or Spectrum, don't have have this feature built in. So the first thing you'll want to do is check if your router supports VPN client mode. That's the key. Some routers that do support VPNs out of the box include the Asus models like the RTAX series, GL.INET routers, which are great budget-friendly picks, Netgear routers with DDWRT, Linksys routers with OpenWRT, or Tomato firmware. So if you already have one of these, great, you're good to go. If not, then you might need to either upgrade your router or flash custom firmware onto it, which is doable, but it's a little bit more advanced and we'll go over in this video. Setting it up. So let's say you're using an Asus router, which is one of the most common choices. All you need to do is log in to your VPN provider. We recommend NordVPN, Surfshark, ExpressVPN. Any of these are gonna work great for gaming. Then go to the manual setup section. Choose the open VPN protocol and download the configuration file for the server that you wanna use. If if you're not sure which server to pick, try one near your location for better speeds or choose a different country if you're trying to access specific content. Now open your browser and log in to your router. Usually that's just typing in your IP address, something like 192.168.1.1 or something like that in your address bar. Go to the VPN client section, upload that config file and enter your VPN login details. Click activate and you're good to go. After that, just connect your Xbox to your usual Wi-Fi network. Because your whole network is now behind the VPN, Xbox is covered too. Now the pros of this is that it's super convenient once it's all set up and it works on all devices without any extra steps. And there's no need to mess with hotspot or sharing or any Windows settings. 
The cons are the setup can be a little tricky depending on your router, and it's harder to switch locations quickly. And then everything on the network uses the VPN, even devices that might not need it. So yeah, it's a great long-term solution, but not the best if you're constantly switching servers or you want more control. Method two, use a Windows PC to create a VPN hotspot. Flexible and free. Okay, now for the second method. And this one's honestly my favorite because it's way more flexible. All you need is a Windows PC with Wi-Fi and an internet connection. So we're basically gonna turn your PC into a VPN powered Wi-Fi hotspot that your Xbox can connect to. It's kind of like building your own mini router, but only for your Xbox. So here's how to do it. First, install a VPN app on your PC. So download the app from your VPN provider's website. Log in and go to settings. Make sure the protocol is set to OpenVPN. This is important because hotspot sharing usually only works with OpenVPN. Set up the hotspot. On Windows, click on the Wi-Fi or network icon. Go to network and internet settings, then mobile hotspot and toggle it on. Click edit and set your network name and password. Name it something like Xbox VPN so you remember it later. Enable connection sharing. Then just go to advanced network settings, then more network adapter options. Right click on your VPN adapter. It might say tap NordVPN or something similar. Go to properties, then the sharing tab. Check the box that says allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection. In the drop down, select your mobile hotspot hotspot. Connect your Xbox. On your Xbox, go to network settings, select setup wireless network, pick the hotspot name you just created, enter your password, connect, and boom, you're now using your VPN on Xbox. The pros are it's easy to switch locations on the fly. There's no need to mess with your router, and it doesn't affect your whole network, just the Xbox. The cons is that it only works if your PC is on and connected. It needs a little bit of manual setup, and it doesn't work on Mac. But honestly, if you're gaming from a setup with a PC nearby, this method is super handy, especially if you want to bounce between servers or only use the VPN occasionally. How to know if it's working. So you've gone through all the setup steps, but how can you tell if your Xbox is actually using the VPN? Here's a quick trick. Grab any device connected to the same hotspot or router, your phone, laptop, whatever, and go to a site like whatsmyipaddress.com or surfshark.com forward slash whatsmyip. If the IP address you see matches the location that you selected on your VPN, then you're good. Xbox doesn't have a built-in browser for IP checks, so this is the easiest way to confirm it. So which method should you choose? If you want something that's always on and covers your whole home, the router method is probably the move, especially if you've got a compatible router. But if you want something Something that's easy to manage, quick to switch, and doesn't require buying new gear, the Windows hotspot method is probably your best bet. Either way, you'll be better protected, more private, and have way more control over your gaming experience. And if you're wondering which VPN to try, the ones that consistently work best with Xbox setups are NordVPN, it's a great balance of speed and features, Surfshark, it's super budget friendly and easy to use, and ExpressVPN, which is probably the fastest if you've got the budget for it. So if you wanna get started with any of those, we have links for them down in the description below. If you wanna get started with NordVPN, just click the link down there next to NordVPN, which will bring you to this page right here. All you need to do is click on Get the Deal, and you're gonna get the best pricing possible for NordVPN. Nord has four different plans to choose from and a couple different terms to choose from. For this example, I'll just select the Plus plan, which is their most popular, plan on a two-year plan and click buy now. So for two years plus four extra months of VPN coverage for NordVPN, it's only going to cost you $107.73. NordVPN also has a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can try it out, make sure it works for your needs, and decide within that 30-day period. Again, use the link down in the description to get the best pricing possible for NordVPN. Now, Surfshark's another great option, and if you want to get started with that, we'll have a link for that down in the description as well. That'll bring you to this page right here where you can go ahead and just click on Get Surfshark VPN, and again, just choose your plan and term. I'll choose the most popular one on a 24 month term. Now with this deal, you're going to get three months extra. So for 24 plus three months, so 27 months total, it only costs $67.23, which is an incredible deal. Now they also have a 30 day money back guarantee. So again, try it out, make sure it works for your needs and decide within the 30 day period. Again, we'll have a link for that down in the description below. And lastly, there's ExpressVPN, which is the most expensive of the three, but you're going to get the best pricing if you choose to use the link down in the description below. Just click on the link and then click on Get Express VPN. And from here, you just need to choose your plan. They have a one month plan, a 12 month plan, or a two year plan. So the two year plan, you're gonna get four months free as well as all of the extra perks that come with that. Now ExpressVPN also has a 30 day money back guarantee so you can try it out, make sure it works for you and decide within that 30 day period. Now, none of these require a complicated setups and they all have guides to walk you through either method that we talked about today. So that's it for this video. Now you know how to set up a VPN on Xbox, even without a VPN app on the Xbox. 
and you've got two solid ways to make it happen. No more worrying about getting booted offline by random trolls, no more struggling with region locked content, and no more exposing your IP every time you fire up a match. So if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments and I'll do my best to help out. And if this helped you out, hit that like button and maybe share it with a friend who's still playing unprotected. So if you wanna get started with any of the VPNs we talked about today, you'll find links for them down in the description below. These are affiliate links, which means that we earn a small commission when you use them at no extra cost to you. And these commissions really help support the channel and allow us to continue to create free content just like this. So if you end up using them, we thank you so much in advance. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Here on this channel, we cover everything from VPNs and cybersecurity to how to stay safe online in detailed product comparisons, so be sure to subscribe. But other than that, thanks for watching. We'll see you here in the next video.